Alrighty, here we go. This is going to be my first style of video, so I hope everybody enjoys. But we're going to start off with this series, playing Batman Arkham Asylum. So pretty much what is going to be about is I'll be playing it on the hardest difficulty. And, you know, kind of show you why I'm the one and only Batman. Uh, luckily enough, uh, I played this game on hard mode once, but it was, it was a while back ago. So I do have some knowledge about the game, you know, I kind of have the, the tricks and, you know, I should be able to do it, right? Uh, so pretty much the first thing in this game is that the enemies are, are a lot stronger. So I need to max out my armor as fast as possible. Second, enemies are more aware of my presence, so I have to be more careful when it comes hey, to being stealthy so because long, one uh, simple mistake, I make one little really noise good. and I'm pretty much dead. Um, yeah, I believe that's pretty much everything I need to cover about this game. Just, you know, beat up anyone who's in my presence Surprise, while also so being creepy, stealthy right? and I'll get caught. So, you know, that's going to be really, really fun and challenging. So, like I said before, hope you enjoyed it and let's get right with the series. So we start off with handing Joker back to the officials to make sure that he doesn't make any more crimes trying to hurt people, you know. But the only thing that I don't like about this is that we have to witness one of the slowest walks in history. And there's no way to speed this up. So between the anyway, now that we're finally done with that, Joker decides to finally turn the table on us and do what he does best. Getting free without any trouble and say it sets off his plan to World take over the island which is you know bad news for us because we definitely don't want that because oh look God. at that people are getting hurt but that's pretty much how joker oh, gets free by you know tricking two guards and the guards falling for his trap like always because they're pretty much idiots um and you know harley quinn decides to set everybody free so it is our job to put everybody everybody back in their in their jail cell and stop Joker from taking over the island, causing chaos. Luckily, we finally take action by fighting a couple of random inmates and kind of learning the controls of the game. I was pretty rusty to start off. I almost got killed when I first started playing this game. But luckily for us, nothing could stop us because, you know, we're Batman once again. Once that was done, we quickly realized how fast Joker took over the island. Uh, wow. When we're faced with one of ba Batman's me. greatest enemies, Victor Sass. But don't worry, everybody. Yeah, it's pretty easy to, to take down. Boy. Once I got to this part, I kind of realized that we were going to be working overtime. Because um, we had to save a couple of officers who were in danger of, you know, dying. And we also had to save one bad guy, even though we KO'd him at the end. But, you know, <laughs> it's what matters, you know. That's the face of satisfaction right there after beating somebody up. No after dealing with all of that, we encounter our first mini boss in a way. You'll see why. Um, it's pretty much a disfigured tying creature who only used his right arm, if you know <laughs> what I mean, because <laughs> his right arm is pretty much huge and the other one is skinny. And he wasn't too hard to be. All we had to do was just dodge oh, before you know he died of a heart attack. So it wasn't too bad. What the heck is happening to this guy? Well, that was unexpected, wasn't it? Well, well, note to self, need stronger test subjects. Things have gone so far that even one of our officers betrayed us and kidnapped Gordon. I don't know how Joker managed to pay him off, but that's pretty much our next objective. Uh, find some clues in order to find them and keep them safe this place is going to be pure chaos nothing really happens here i just want to show you guys how amazing this game looks and how it captures the scary vibe perfectly it can't get any better than that i applaud rock city for that that's one of the many good things about this game you know just look at that so cool following gordon's tobacco trail that he left behind because he smokes like a chimney we are led into the medical department, but it's covered with inmates, so you know we gotta take care of business and punch your way through by beating a couple of them up. Uh, but it shouldn't be a problem. I'm, you know, pretty skillful myself. <laughs> Once we get past those guys, we see one of the scariest scenes from this game, with 
two doctors and the crazy inmate going nuts. But we're not safe because we later on start to hosting this stuff like this as well. Please help me, Batman! Father, he should have stood up to him, son. Mom? I was pretty creeped out too by that part as well but we quickly meet who is the one responsible for all of this which I think is one of the most underappreciated characters in this game Scarecrow but his level was pretty easy we just flash a light on them and that's pretty much it so there's nothing to worry about we'll see him again later in the game right. now that we got all distractions out of the way we finally arrived so just in time to save James Gordon from Harley Quinn Sorry, Harley. You got to do what you got to do. You took longer than I thought. He's out of control. He's trying to prove something. I'm not sure I can. But this game always has something on their sleeves when we come across a sucked up dried vein. Pause. <laughs> and again, Joker likes to mess with us. So in this part, he'll be setting them free, trying to make them go crazy in order to kill us. <laughs> which sets us up for our first boss battle of the game which it was pretty oh, fun but during the live stream i was not having a good day i just kept on dying a bunch of times oh. it took me a while but we got the it's job so done long. i finally for ended no up defeating bane while managing to save James Gordon. And I don't know how he didn't die in this part. Literally a whole roof landing on them. But we're not going to question it, I guess. Now that that's over, we have to find more information about the time. So we decided to fly to the Bat Cave. And, you know, in every superhero, you got to land it in style. We quickly discover more information about the time formula and who created it, Dr. Young, who's been working with the Joker all this time. So we gotta go find her and the missing information for the formula. Once we're in the, of the trail, it leads us to a bunch of inmates trying to look for the missing formula as well. Not gonna lie, it was pretty difficult because there were so many of them and some were challenging to beat up, but we somehow managed to do it and hopefully we're able to find the missing evidence before it's too late you know but luckily we do find it in time um it wasn't the full evidence but we managed to find the missing key that the joker's looking for and just to be safe we just destroy it and burn it just to be in safe hands you would think that after getting my ass kicked a bunch of times fighting monsters bane a bunch of inmates that things will chill down right but no on this part we start to hallucinate again and this could only mean one thing look at that um i'm witnessing the death of my parents again which it's never fun you know Man, pretty sad thing for up. for bruce wayne showing us the birth of batman but after going through all of that the only person responsible is scarecrow He's back once again to make me go crazy and kill me. And I don't know why, because this is the first time that somebody comes back for seconds. I guess he just doesn't learn when to quit, you know. But the funny thing in this part is that somehow Scarecrow actually gets the better hand this time and actually finds me, which I don't know how I was so stupid in that part. Now that we finally got past the hard part, um, now is our time to not get caught again since we're almost towards the end. And I'll just let you see for for yourself. Ooh, almost fell. Ah, oh, I was supposed to do this. Yee. Run, 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 run. Okay, now, 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 now was a, was a good time. All right, let me, let me wait here. Let me wait here until it goes back over there. <laughs> I 
this is, this is too much for me at, at the moment. Everything now's a good time. Under my control. Come on, Bruce. Okay. I, see you, Batman. I did it finally. So now that we found Dr. Young, she was supposed to lead us to the missing file, but in reality, it was another trap by the Joker. Oh, the so yeah, she dies in a horrible way by the Joker, but somehow we ended up finding the poisoning Ivy still locked up, surprisingly, and surprise, surprise, she's gonna cause us trouble later in the future, because we just can't catch a break. Once we, we move on, we kind of have to do this boss oh, why, battle why I, I have no idea it's pretty much harley sending her man to fight me while also trying not to get electrocuted so as, as you can see the floor is lighting up um uh, yeah it's pretty weird i'm not sure this counts as a boss battle but here we are after that once we beat all of them harley quinn comes down herself to to beat us up but we just grab her and toss her like a set like a piece of paper so it's no worries Finally, after a wild goose chase, we finally catch up with the Joker, but he sets us more obstacles to slow us down like that. And this part right here. I guess Joker's a queen fan. Hey, bro! <laughs> he wasn't expecting me! After all that trouble we have to go through, we finally catch up with the Joker, but this time we have to do another boss fight. But this time is with two tiny henchmen, and you'll see. Joker pulls out a gun and shoots them both, which won't be fun because this time they won't die by heart attack. So we gotta do what we gotta do and not die. Are you guys ready for what's about to happen next? <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight two Banes. Oh, that is so nasty. So, luckily for me, I managed to be taking up both of them at the same time. The yes, key thing right here that. is okay, you gotta keep on dodging and then battering them in the face, just like that. And try to use the one the henchmen against each other. And that's pretty much the whole key thing, so that's what I was trying to do the whole time. So far tonight is not looking good for us because after that we've been asking Poison Ivy for help to find a cure for the Titan, but she tells us that we have to head straight to Killer Croc's <laughs> lair to collect spores, which is not good. And once we get to the lair, we find one of them, but as always, there's always some type of way to mess with us and Scarecrow shows up, draining us to infect the water to kill a bunch of people. But he just doesn't know what he's Watch what expecting right now. I think he forgot about Killer Croc because he's about to eat him right now. Once we're in, in his actual lair, we have to be very quiet because otherwise he's gonna show up trying to eat us. And if you don't react too quick, he's gonna kill you just like this. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> After experiencing the most traumatic gameplay, we finally collect our last spore enough to make a cure. So I think this is a good idea to head out without getting e eaten again. Unfortunately for us, once we're almost out of here, Killer Croc doesn't want to go out empty handed, so he's been trying his best to catch us. So he decides to destroy every platform out there, trying to chase us. And I'm just Let's running for out. my life. I'm not looking back. I'm just going back. and going and going because after so many times of dying, I'm not trying to redo this all over again. Because if you ask anyone who's ever played this game, I'm pretty sure they will tell you that this part uh, of the game is one of the scariest, most stressful part. Because once you die, you gotta start you all over, and it's super scary to deal with here, that. So now that we're finally out of here, oh, no. we get trapped. So it's time for plan B. We have to blub the floor once he's on there in order for us to escape in peace without getting eaten again. Ooh, barely got that on time. Once we're back in the Batcave, Batman 
mix a cure, just enough to take out ivy, and while that's in the process, we make more just in case to be safe, but we ended up having a surprise in the, in the back cave, and you'll see what it is. I need to get out of here and find ivy. Thank God, her plans have reached the goblin. Yep, it's pretty much poison ivy taking over the back cave, destroying my stuff, which I really don't appreciate that, so... We're gonna take care of her before we end up fighting Joker. Great. So we come back to see Poison Ivy again to make her pay for her actions for destroying my my bat cave because I really didn't appreciate that. Otherwise, she's gonna pay with a couple of bat punches. But I think she was already ready to fight because one of her plants shows up. I think she already knew that we're gonna make her pay. So we do this boss battle. Um, as you can see, I struggled for a bit, not because it was hard, okay. in my opinion, I think this is one of the easier boss fights Notes in the sale. game, but unfortunately, I was having bad luck when I played on that day, that. Do so it took me a couple of tries. <laughs> yeah, after many tries of trying to take her down because her plants are really annoying, we finally got her weak enough to bring down her giant plant and finish her off once and for all because, like I said before, it was an easy boss fight, but not my night. I died a couple of times. Well, there you have it. Finally. That was challenging. After a long awaited journey, we finally get to see what Joker had planned for us. He had a surprise party for us, but the thing that he doesn't know is that I hit surprise party, so we took down everybody who was involved in this, which it was pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. After everything I went through, I just decided to take down everybody because screw their party and screw all their tactics that they tried to do to take me down. After that satisfying beating, this is the part I was telling you about. Somehow Gordon got kidnapped again. I don't know how because I remember saving them. But to our surprise, Joker tries to shoot him with the time formula, but we got there in time just to save him. And Joker decided to shoot him himself in the head, become this ugly creature. This is the yeah, only thing I don't like about the game Joker. is how they turned Joker into this one, one ugly pimpled mohawk dude mo of a monster and the boss battle itself is not really good because all you gotta do is just run around people and wait until he turns around which I think is for a boss fight it's one of the most boring ones and I'll just if you think I'm lying I'll just, I'll just show you what, what we gotta do here This is the end, I, I believe. I can take it. I can take anything you throw at me, bats. You I so ugly, bro. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. Never. So yeah, that was pretty much the whole boss fight. Like I said, all you got to do is fight a bunch of people and then take down Joker just like that which for a boss fight it was pretty underwhelming but I do understand I guess during the time that it wasn't popular to play superhero games so I guess I could give him a, a pass but that's pretty much it for Batman Arkham Asylum I hope you enjoyed this whole gameplay I really had fun playing it it, it was nice going back uh, to the start of the Batman series and we're playing we're playing it again Kevin Conroy as Batman is amazing like I, like I said before we do miss him though. He's 
been a while since he passed away, but everyone in the Batman community misses him so much. Um, and yeah, this is my first time playing playing this and making a video like this, so um, I'm sure this is going to be strange for many of the viewers since most most of my videos are just gameplay videos, a full walkthrough. But I had fun doing this, um, and I hope I can keep on doing it again. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to your channel like I said before. And I really appreciate all the support. I'll be back playing God of War 3 this time. So check out my, my channel to join the live stream and experience the game with me. And I hope to see you there. I hope you have a good day. Take care and peace. Bye bye.